Hey everyone, Zinnia Jones here. Uh, I am on my way to get electrolysis for the first time. This is a permanent method of hair removal that I'm having done on my upper lip and chin. You might notice I'm a little scruffy here because I've had to let it grow out for several days first without shaving. And this is normally something people take care of with laser hair removal first when they have larger areas. Um, but the problem with laser hair removal in my case is that it only works on certain pigments and darker hairs in particular. Now because some of my hairs are clear and lighter due to two and a half years of estrogen, it wouldn't take as well. Electrolysis uses a direct electrical current or radio frequency waves to destroy the hair follicle directly. Now that requires for every single follicle inserting a small needle alongside the hair to reach in there and basically destroy the tissue from the inside out, whereas laser hair removal can just blast it away in very large areas. So this is going to take a little while. I have never done this before. I don't know what to expect. Um, I've taken a few painkillers beforehand, so uh, wish me luck. Hey everyone, I just got out of my first electrolysis session. Uh, this was just a test, so it only lasted about 15 minutes. Um, they taught me about everything having to do with it, the way they insert this particular probe into the hair follicles, and in this case it's insulated so that it only channels current directly to the follicle itself and doesn't burn at the skin level. And it was a really interesting feeling. It's, it does feel like having a very small hot needle inserted into your skin over and over. And so, well, whatever you make of that, it's, it's a little bit more intense than the experience of uh, getting a tattoo, for instance. And let's see, within about 15 minutes they were able to work on a large area of my chin, the most prominent hairs, and test a small area of my, my upper lip right here. The redness is supposed to go away after about half an hour, they told me. And uh, after that, because the spacious glands in each hair follicle might become irritable, you're supposed to use a hot compress on them uh, two or three times a day for a few days, just to make sure everything's properly loosened up and draining. And I was also told that because hair grows in cycles, underneath each hair they've taken care of, there could still be 13, 14 or more hairs waiting to also grow back. So this could take on the order of 12 to 15 months with monthly treatments to take care of on an actual permanent basis. But after that, it should be pretty much taken care of. So. Everyone was very friendly, it went very well, uh, considering what it was, it was about as comfortable as it could be, and so I'm looking forward to doing this again next month.